Let me first honor the memory of the innocent, unsuspecting, music-loving, beautiful human beings who this day six years ago here in Las Vegas were casually and quickly killed. Dear friends, if we cannot banish guns and bombs, shouldn't we at least control them? Gandhi, my grandfather, has been called the father in the 20th century of non-violence, of ahimsa. Gandhi knew anger, but controlled it. He knew fear, but smiled at it and continued to oppose injustice. He knew hate, but rejected it. He knew love and embraced it. And he found non-violence, non-violent resistance, and offered it to the world. My cousin Arun Gandhi, who died five months ago, was 16 months older than me. I tried to catch up with him, but he always remained 16 months older. Our grandfather Gandhi and our grandmother Kasturba had 15 grandchildren. After Arun's demise, only five survive. But Gandhi remains. And he continues, and he inspires children, women, and men all across the world, not his descendants, to struggle for their dignity and for the dignity of fellow humans. Gandhi will remain because he showed that ahimsa is the weapon of the brave, a more effective weapon than the gun or the sword. Those who were killed in Las Vegas are alive in our hearts. Gandhi, who too was gunned down, is alive in our hearts. Innocence, love, ahimsa, non-violence, non-violent struggle will live forever. I send blessings, solidarity and love to all of you.